Next boar we have is a Berkshire call, we call Gangster's Paradise. He is the boar that came from Dalton Show Pigs. He is a straight-up gangster on an open bar sow. Uh, this is a boar that uh, uh, we end up buying off uh, out of their online uh, uh, boar sale this past winter time. And I will tell you, I, I think that this is one of the most impressive, visually most impressive Berkshire boars we've ever had here. Uh, we had open bar here, and open bar was, I thought, has always has always been our very best one that we've ever had here and i think this hog has surpassed him in terms of just how impressive he is and if he can sire true to what he is and we kind of expect him to we see there a very high ceiling for this hog this hog is incredibly stout featured with great toes a great big forearm um a hog's pattern and design and comfort is extremely good and this hog has got a dense stout kind of hip he is a, a boar that, uh, uh, when I saw him in person, he, he kind of blew me away, to be very honest with you. And we are very, uh, very proud to have him. A very exotic kind of look in a Berkshire boar that we think can uh, sire some of those high-end kind of uh, uh, show, show barras and gilts that have got that extra kind of feature and shape and, and pattern there. Uh, I think there's a very, very high ceiling for what this hog can do here. Well, from the moment that, that Mike bought this and brought him in, he, he really hasn't changed. He's always been that that one that looks just like that. He's elevated. He's level and square. The front third of that one's body, I think, is as good as, as any Berkshire male pig you're going to find in your travels. Um, and it just, it, it, like I alluded to, it, it's just another one that adds to the battery of what I think we have in our in our purebred division. And, and when we hit the yard with that one today, uh, Steve and I were just standing there just, just kind of, just a yeah, little in disbelief, I guess, of, of, of truly how exotic that one looks from the side, how elevated he is, but yet to have that stout forearm, that stout blade, uh, we think one that can just simply fix a lot of things that you may come across within that breed and, and, uh, and one that, that I think uh, probably has a lot of southwest capabilities for, uh, for, uh, for making those kind of uh, Berkshire market hogs that – that um, that can compete at, at those shows at that level. With that one's exotic look, that one's the comfort of skeleton, his stoutness and muscularity, I think that's one that, uh, that we're going to hear a lot from this summer. Yeah, you make a very good point there, Matt. He is one we do think can fix a lot of issues, yet I do think is extreme enough in his look and, and extreme enough in his presence to still make some of those elite ones that can kind of have a standout kind of look. Well, and to, and to just wrap that one up too, just his color pattern as well, that's a, a very – uh, a hot topic within that breed, and we th we were we thought we were blessed that when we got this one, as his color pattern stayed the sta stayed the same and, and met the uh, the correct uh, the correct guidelines, uh, we think that even adds more to the value of this Berkshire boar. Very good point.